Hello and welcome to another uh, video in the eSpade eStar training series. Uh, this video is going to be on conducting a read, which is a review of existing evaluation data, or a re-evaluation within eSpade. As you can see, I'm already logged in. Um, if I'm going to do a read or a re-evaluation here in Pasadena, my uh, application I will go to is called read slash evaluation. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you how to do a read uh, where we're not doing any further evaluation. I'm going to pick uh, Billy BSS. I am writing the student's evaluation report. Here is student information. Like I said, that's what you get on every application when you open it to make sure you're on the right kid. Click my screen drop down. I'm going to go to review of existing evaluation data. So, reason for evaluation, even if I said there's no further evaluation, the read is going to become the new FIE. So I'll say it's a reevaluation. My reevaluation date is going to be 820. We'll just do this for training purposes. Um, it tells me reevaluation due date corrected, so I can see it was done here. It'll be due in three years. I also want to put my review of existing evaluation date as 82018, so it matches. We can see that it's a read. I didn't actually do any evaluation. Um, yes or no that I had an interpreter, uh, parent guardian was in attendance, uh, parent guardian agrees not to, uh, not to convene an ARD, a copy of the read will be sent home, uh, any comments that go here, determination of existing evaluation data, okay, so this is what we're looking, here's the required participants, qualified professionals, you can read that at your leisure. Um, at the time of this reevaluation review, this student is receiving special ed services as a student with a primary disability in the following areas. The kid is already ED. Um, he doesn't have multiple disabilities. He's not medically fragile. Um, additional areas of suspected disability. So if the kid's ED and we're suspecting, suspecting SI, AU, LD, this is where I would go in and click this paper icon, explain what additional disabilities we may be suspecting. If I'm not suspecting any additional eligibilities, I'm just doing a read, continu continuing the current eligibility, I don't put anything in here. Sources of information, this is where you go in and you could click add sources, there's nothing in there, but you would type in, you know, uh, review of existing evaluation data, whatever it happens to be, put my sources in, okay? Once I'm done with that, I click next. Language and communication, uh, you can click this paper icon, input from the district, input from parent or guardian. If I'm doing a read, I'm saying no additional evaluation is needed. Okay? So then this bottom section would end up blank. We'll say the student's native language is English, academic language is English, LPAC information, da da da. Does the student manifest? No, because the kid is, L is ED only. Okay? I click next. Physical, same situation. Input from district, input from parent, guardian, adult student. Vision and hearing date, is it within or with, within normal limits, with or without correction, aided or unaided, um, or not within normal limits. Um, functional vision, if it's necessary, if it's not appropriate, check NA. Health history, if they have a significant health history, yes, explain that. Uh, this is where we're reviewing all the previous data. We'll say Additional informal or informal evaluation is not needed. Um, does the student manifest one or more of the following conditions? We'll say no. I'll keep going. Sociological, once again, inf input from district, input from parent. Yes or no to these questions. If you answer yes, explain. Um, say it's a read. And you may ask, be asking yourself, why is he saying that no additional formal evaluation or informal evaluation is needed at this time because if I'm doing a read I've gotten in my score meeting I've gotten with the parent I've, or I've talked to the parent I've gotten with any related service provider OTPT APE I've gotten with speech pathologist if needed I've gotten with LSSP diagnostician we have all decided that absolutely nobody is testing that's the only way it can be a read if any of those members want to do additional testing you'll follow the same process but it's not a read it becomes a reevaluation it looks a little bit different okay so that's why I keep saying as I'm showing you a read additional formal or informal evaluation is not needed okay 
but I fill this out click next go to emotional behavioral input from district input from parent answer additional formal eval is not needed yes or no I say it's not needed um, I say the behavior impedes them yes or no uh, yes he's still ED yes his behavior impedes himself and others and I would write up my summary right up in here okay once I keep going I'll click into intellectual adaptive behavior once again input from district input from parent guardian or adult student uh, it's not needed at this time next academic performance input from district input from parent guardian adult per, uh, adult student um, and here this is where you're gonna put modifications how they're doing their goal state assessment current grades absences things like that um, you'll put in here answer a student below grade level in reading same as you did in an initial FIE if it's a read I'm gonna say no formal or informal eval is not needed I'm gonna click next I have assistive technology input from district input from parent guardian AT yes or no if I say yes explain I'm gonna say since it's a read I don't need any further additional information I click next I don't have a related service at this point because I've included it in those other sections determination of additional data uh, print this screen additional data are needed I'm gonna say no 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 so we're gonna go to it tells you down at the bottom I've said no because it's a read then I'm gonna complete no additional data needed screen so I'm gonna click next this is my notification if no additional data is needed it's a read I'm gonna check this box justification for determination is as follows in here I'm gonna put my conclusion statements where I conclude here's my recommendation still he still meets eligibility criteria as a student with a an emotional disturbance um, and then I'm gonna say review of exist existing evaluation data becomes new FIA date due to no new testing required yes um, consent or this is the initials of the parent you would just type the parents initials in um, yes they still qualify yes they still need special ed yes they're still eligible to receive special ed services your conclusion goes in here recommendations here uh, if the kid didn't qualify or you can put your conclusions in here say the kids still ED uh, yes or no yes or no recommendations and recommendations same as we've done in an initial FIE okay then we go to this is where I I check this um, we could e I would then have you type your name in sign put your position and then I'm gonna click my reports I'm gonna say read slash evaluation click create it's gonna refresh because auto refresh is turned on I went from new to working it's gonna refresh again and say done I can then view it here's my read so I've said here's my review of existing evaluation data no further information is needed yes he still qualifies okay then I could print it I could archive it like I've shown you in other videos but that is how you do a read here in Pasadena ISD now let's go back and I'm gonna mess with another student and show you how to do a reevaluation where we are saying further evaluation is needed okay I'm gonna pick on Doug one fake click on him I'm writing his evaluation report student information screen again my review of existing evaluation data I'm gonna say this is a reeval FIE reeval date 8 20 2018 it generates when the next one is due I'm not gonna put a read date in here because I didn't read him I'm actually gonna test this baby an interpreter was needed yes or no parent or guardian wasn't in attendance uh, it's not applicable I'm testing the kid uh, NA they're not gonna convene an ARD right now um, a copy of the evaluation results will be sent on blah 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 to you can put in the comments in here we're now to determination of existing evaluation data again so let's say let's say this kid is LD okay 
So I'm going to check the box, specific learning disability, no multiple disabilities, not medically fragile. I don't suspect any additional disability conditions. I'm going to put my sources of data in here like the WISC-5, WJ-4, CTOP-2, whatever it is, GORT-5, things like that. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to address language if it's appropriate, input from district, input from parent guardian. If I'm testing, if I'm not testing in the area of language, I would say no. If I am, I say yes. Say what kind of testing is needed, who's responsible for it, the speech language pathologist, who is it? Um, and then when I finish my testing, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put my results in here. Okay? Language results and interpretation, articulation, voice, fluency results and say yes or no whether the kid still qualifies or does qualify as a student with a speech impairment. I'm going to do this for each section. Physical, as I've planned and prepped for the meeting, I've already done all my review of existing evaluation data. So I've got input from district, input from parent guardian, my vision information, <coughs> kids not VI, health history, no, we'll just say no for simplicity's sake. Um, we're going to say yes, it's needed. Um, person respond. What kind of testing are we going to do? Uh, physical and health wise. Who's responsible? Then when I'm done with my evaluation in this area, I come into this box. That's where I type all my evaluation information. Okay. Based on this new on new evaluation data, does the student manifest one or more disabling conditions in, in this area? No, kids still LD only. So then I go through sociological. Same thing. Input from district. Input from parent, guardian, student. Yes or no to all of these. Yes, additional evals needed if that's the area I'm testing in. My results go down here. Click Next. Emotional Behavioral. Input from District. Input from Parent Guardian. Yes or no. Additional eval is needed. Um, does their behavior impede themselves or others? Yes, yes, yes. My results go in here. If I'm doing an FBA, put it in here. Do they qualify ED? No. I'm going to say the kid's still LD, okay? Then I got uh, IQ or intellectual adaptive behavior. Input from district, input from parent guardian that I've done in my read. I've said yes, additional eval is needed. Who, what kind of eval if I want to explain what kind of testing we're going to do, who's responsible for it. Once I'm done with my testing, I put my information in here. I say it was assessed either formally or informally for intellectual and adaptive behavior. Yes or no, whether it's their intellectual functioning is consistent with adaptive behavior. Um, if not, I explain. Based on new evaluation data, yes, he's still LD. Okay. Then academic, I do the same thing. Input from district, input from parent guardian. Uh, students below grade level in reading. I'll just say yes. Why not? No, he's LD in reading only today. Okay. So we're going to say yes, additional deval is needed. You could describe it here. Who's responsible for it? Then when I'm done with my testing, I click in this box, I type in my achievement scores, my grades, my curriculum-based assessments, all the things that would go in if I'm looking at this area again. Was it formal or informal? We don't use this little chart. Based on this, yes, the kid still qualifies LD. So then I go to assistive technology, yes, no, or input from district, uh, input from parent, guardian, adult, student, uh, AT, no. Let's say this is the one area I'm not testing. Uh, I would go in and say no. Click next. We're not doing a related service at this time. Determination. I'm going to click this. Additional data are needed. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. For these yes or no to those. If I've said yes, then I'm not going to do screen 12 and 13. I'm going to do screen 14 and 15. Okay? Check to print the following section. Parent consent. I'll get notice and consent for the evaluation to to be completed after after new evaluation is done. Uh, print this following section. Upon completion and review, the team agrees that the student does qualify. Does qualify. Is eligible. Here's my summary of conclusions. Go in here. Kid is still LD. Yes or no to this question. Yes or no to this question. IEP recommendations in here. Then I go to screen 15. So where I type in my name. I could uh, click this. 
type in my name, type in my position, sign it, then I'm done. Then I'll generate the report by clicking reports, read slash evaluation, create. It'll generate from new to working to done. Then I could archive it accordingly. I would put it in my evaluations folder and say that it's a, a reevaluation. That is how to do a reevaluation as well as a read within uh, the eSped system. As always, uh, if you have questions as far as content, get with uh, either your team lead or your respective coordinator. If you have any questions technically on how to put it in the system, please get with me. Uh, my phone number is 713-740-0953. My email is jfrost, J-F-R-O-S-T, at Pasadena ISD. Uh, have a great day. Bye.